What's up everybody, Noah from Stage 3 Motorsports here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install these Grim tubular upper control arms on your Ford Ranger. Overall, this install is pretty straightforward and you should be able to do it in your driveway with a jack and a couple jack stands. Obviously, we're doing it on the lift to make it easier, but let's get right into it. First things first, we need to pop these two clips off the bottom of our upper control arm that are holding the ABS line here. Now grab an 18 and a 21 millimeter wrench and we're going to loosen up this really long bolt running through the back that's holding the upper control arm mounts. All right, and with that loose, we're not going to take it all the way off yet. We're going to wait until we get this knuckle on done. Now we're going to take this 18 millimeter deep well socket and loosen up the nut that's on the end of the stud for the ball joint here. I'm going to bring it down to where it's loose, but it's still threaded on. And then we can kind of tap this loose if the ball joint is seized into the knuckle. And then after we've got that all free, we can actually remove the nut the rest of the way. Now that the arm is loose and free from the knuckle, we can pull this bolt out from the back and get the whole arm out of here. Now you're gonna have a spacer bracket that goes over the mount back here and you can see once you kind of wedge it in there, these ground wires are sort of in the way. Now, what you'll want to do is probably take a 13 millimeter socket, loosen these up and twist them to the side a little bit to give you some more space so you can get this bracket in place. Then once you have it there, there are some rubber cover caps that you can put over the wires here to protect it. So that way it's not going to rub up against this bracket and short anything out. So we're going to pop these on here first, get some zip ties on there. Then I can get the bracket through and we'll continue on from there. So I've got our new Grim tubular arm here, and before you pop this in the vehicle, you'll have a little bit of assembly to do. So basically, you're just going to need to grease up these bushings on the back. There's two little rubber sleeves plus the metal sleeve that goes through the center. Press that all together. You can use a vise or something like that to pound it in there. Then you're going to want to add your two grease fittings to those as well. And up here for the uniball, you'll go ahead, obviously pop that tapered stud in as well as the cap with this new bolt tighten that down and you'll see it kind of pulls together to make a full uniball out of that. So once all that's good to go, the arm is set. Now, before we just pop this straight in here, you can see that I've pulled this flap down in the back where there's kind of like a rubber splash guard to make some room. And part of that is because we're gonna need to get this massive bolt threaded back through here. Now on the bolt, there's a big fat fender washer. You're gonna have two of these in your kit that need to go on the outside of the upper control arm bushings. So as you can see, that one will be pinched there. And we'll have one right here that's going to go inside of that nut. And that just helps keep everything spaced out properly so there's no slack back and forth. But I'm going to try and get this poked in here and mounted up and then we can start tightening things down. Before I tighten up the nut and bolt on the back here, I'm going to lift this arm up and get it seated back into the knuckle. Now let's cinch this up in the back. We 
We've got the arm pretty well attached here, but now is a good time with it mounted on the truck to actually thread this bolt for the top of the uniball back out. And we're gonna put some red thread locker on it and then tighten it in. I like doing it at this stage just because the arm is actually held in place so you don't have to fight with it as much as you would on a bench. Now from here out, it's pretty simple. We're just gonna put the splash guard back up into place, reattach our ABS lines, and then if you got these separate billet caps to protect the top of the uniball, we're gonna pop those on as well. They just use a little 3M adhesive, so. Let's get all that put back together. And then one last thing that you wanna know is as you're doing this, every bolt you see here that we've touched is gonna to be just torqued back to factory spec. So once it's all done, it's worth hitting that with a torque wrench. I usually do it at the end anyways, just to double check everything and make sure it's all tight. But let's get the rest of this put back together. All right, that is gonna be a wrap on this install for the Grim Upper Control Arms. As you can see, everything came together really nicely, and this is an excellent upgrade, especially with these Fox 25s in here. It starts to kind of bring that suspension together, and we were long overdue for an upper control arm install anyways. So with all that being said, the last thing worth noting is that these arms are designed to correct a little bit for caster and camber in the setup of the truck. So once you get everything put back together, we definitely recommend that you go get an alignment done. It's just gonna help you to not wear those tires funny or have issues where you're scrubbing off tread. So make sure you get that done and out of the way. But with all that being said, if you're interested in picking up a set of these Grim Upper Arms for your truck, you can head down in the description below. We'll have a link there that's gonna shoot you over to our website. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.